Uh, I have Thank you. 
Uh, 
this tender way. Again, you know, the activity is fine and the network speaks to all these things play a very important role. So, as I said, uh, where the network will also be identified and company where the network is for the network of the audience market. So, when I see here, some of the key aspects which we think we need to provide
the legal book condition. So we are working on the kind of thing coming to the approval of the book. So the diagram that I am showing here is an channel audio support for the distribution of the social media to distribute the information and the AI. And we are able to provide the solution. And we are able to provide the solution. We want to have the book. And we want to expand all of the concepts that I just mentioned. So the goal is to go up and come up with new products. So I am going to collaborate if uh, some of you are interested or if anybody in the community is interested. We want to do a full screen of this to just uh, see how we can design our legacy requirements with Linux RT and Zephyr. And we also want to see how we can optimize the purpose of audio server having a for your signal processing uh, framework that exists, that is in the center of your diagram every time, um, is that we don't have any input source to program the DSP. Uh, that's the main reason why those kind of commercial frameworks exist, because as I said, you need I dry or not, um, just to program whatever is inside the DSP, and without those, you need to take some extra jobs and uh, only run that. Do you have any solution for that? Who should provide the solution? Yeah, so we have a thing with DSP, right? The DSP and the DSP library are available to the DSP and the DSP FTP. So the DSP is all these properties are already made for the community to try out. That's to talk to them, not to program them. Yeah. So, programming is also so loading an image is possible. The image that you want to load in your task. Uh, easy 
ठीक और इजी स्टैंडर्ड टूल टू मी टू टू डेफिनेटली अडॉप्ट टू इट आई डोंट नो ओपन बीएक्स uh you might want to avoid being stuck in one uh in one framework i don't know what open bx is it's a and it's a max and it's a The, the programming and training is the hard part. And once you have that, I don't think you have any, any UI framework to, to create the pipeline. And that's not, that doesn't sound too hard to, to do. And we already have, uh, uh, well, the, the stacks that exist, the audio stacks that exist that can do this kind of uh, piping. Um, but if we get the, the tuning of GSPs, uh, it should make it much easier. Okay. That's my, my opinion anyway. Once again, can we clarify the, the, the scope? Because the, in the initial uh, slide, you mentioned the two channels, and then you had that diagram with the video cord and audio daughter card, which uh, had a TAC 5112 on it, which only supports two channels for DAC and another two for ATP. Um, that's not quite 32. Yeah. So what are we trying to build? So for the automating amplifier that is coming in. The bigger platform we are showing is only for open source professional audio kind of application. So these two things are what we built for the dashboard we have is to build it that becomes available to multi channel. Okay, so this is just for uh, getting started. Even mention, yeah, you mentioned briefly pipe wire. Uh, G streamer slash pipe wire because they say the Streamer is all about building a pipeline to do. are great if you do your pipeline on CPU, and, and that's pretty much it. Well, you need your codec to be supported. Well, there are just more elements that, that offload stuff to the right, so. But that's fine, I mean, you, you could have other just more elements that so it's all about extending the, 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 the ecosystem with more and more just more elements. I think what you need is a way to compose um, filters <coughs> where several filters are going to be mapped in on the same DSP and the data never goes out. And GStreamer has no way to do that. So you basically want to compile your filter graph into something which is mapped onto DSPs. I think that's what these professional audio tools do, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> So 
even that some kind of like the streamer element generators, I think like that's, that's its job, right? That allows you to generate the code that goes into the DSP, some code that goes into the distributional pipeline, and um, just thinking out loud, of course, to probe them. I think that for the openly access kind of doing that, the piece of, piece of the filters can kind of essentially become nodes. I mean, you know, we are sticking to using the streamer, and those nodes basically go and upload that to the feeds and come back with the results. But over pipeline density and whatnot is, is something to something to know about. And whether or not, you know, we are we are trying to solve the audio use case via the video way. That's not clear use case at the end of the day. I agree. We need something, right? We need a project where they're working. Well, our customer was using this like commercial click-click thing. It was helpful. Okay. Uh, Thank you.